You probably know that uh, computers make use of uh, binary numbers to represent all the software and information that is available in a computer. So what exactly is a binary numbering system? I will uh, briefly cover this topic by comparison with uh, the decimal numbering system. The decimal numbering system is uh, the usual numbering system that you are familiar with. It has 10 digits from 0 to 9, uh, while the binary numbering system only has two digits, 0 and 1. So in decimal we also have obviously 0 and 1, but we also have the additional digits 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, while in binary we only have 0 and 1. Then uh, we have numbers which are composed of uh, digits and for example in uh, decimal uh, we have number 1, number 10, 234 and so on. On the right hand side uh, you see the associated binary representation of uh, the decimal numbers on the left. So uh, number 1 is represented also as 1. Number 10 uh, in decimal, uh, even though it's uh, composed only of 1 and 0, uh, this number is actually represented in binary as 1010. Zero, zero. Uh, number 234 is represented as 1110101010. And so on. Uh, you see, uh, as uh, the decimal number gets larger, the binary representation gets way larger than that. Now, in uh, decimal, uh, we usually uh, use some form of digit grouping. Uh, this can be by using a comma or a dot in some other countries. Uh, and for example, you can see here uh, the thousands separator, the millions, and so on. Uh, now, in binary, uh, we have different uh, types of groupings. Uh, for example, four bits, uh, so four uh, binary digits. A binary digit is also known as a bit. So, a group of four. Uh, bits, so four binary digits, uh, is called a nibble. So in this example you see two nibbles, one, one, zero, zero, so these are four bits, it's one nibble. Zero, one, zero, one is another nibble. And then uh, we have eight bits, so basically two nibbles. So eight bits, it's uh, called a byte. And then uh, we have a uh, so-called word, uh, which is uh, a way uh, that information is uh, stored in memory or accessed by the CPU. And uh, this, uh, the word size actually depends on the computer architecture. I've previously uh, created some videos about uh, different uh, CPU types and simulating different architectures. And you can see there are different word sizes. But uh, usually uh, nowadays we speak about uh, 64 bits or 32 bits. Uh, but uh, there are uh, other architectures which make use of uh, 12 bits or 8 bits and so on. So let's see how we can convert a decimal number to binary. Uh, basically you start uh, dividing the number by 2 and you continue to do this and uh, until uh, you get a 0. And uh, at each step, you keep the remainder. So, for example, if we try to convert number 10, we divide it by 2, uh, we get uh, a remainder 0, quotient 5, 
Uh, again, we divide 5 by 2. Uh, the result is 2, but uh, the remainder is 1. Uh, then again, we divide 2 uh, by 2. Uh, we get the result 1. Uh, the remainder is 0. And again, 1 uh, is divided by 2. We get uh, the result 0, and this means we stop. And we also get uh, remainder 1. And then we read uh, these remainders in reverse order, uh, starting with the last one, and we get the representation 1010, which is associated to the number 10. And uh, I've also included here a link to a website that uh, gives you a representation, a graphical representation of uh, this division operation. And uh, I suggest uh, you try either by hand or by using this uh, website uh, to convert uh, the rest of the numbers uh, from this example and check to make sure I uh, actually uh, got them correct here. So now let's also take a look at uh, the reverse conversion from binary to decimal. So in this case, we get uh, the binary number, 1010. And uh, to convert this to decimal, uh, we multiply each digit, which can be either 0 or 1. So we multiply each digit by uh, 2 uh, raised to the power of the digit position. And again, uh, on the right side, we have position 0. So in this case, we have uh, 0 multiplied by 2 to the power 0. Uh, then 1, uh, this is in position 1. So we have 1 multiplied by uh, 2 uh, to the power of 1. Uh, then 0, uh, which is multiplied by 2 uh, to the power 2. And finally 1, uh, which is multiplied by 2 uh, to the power 3. So uh, in this case, of course, uh, the numbers multiplied by 0 do not matter. The result is 0. So we have 1 times 2 and 1 uh, times 8 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So we have 2 plus 8, which actually makes 10. So again, 1010 in binary this time um, gives us 10 in decimal. And again, I've included here a link to a website which uh, provides you with uh, a graphical representation uh, of this transformation. And Again, I suggest you try also to convert these uh, binary numbers into decimal uh, in order to check that uh, they really match. Okay, so um, I hope this uh, video was helpful to you. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments below. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.